Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. Hello everyone and thank you for downloading or streaming this training on Facebook and JAWS. Change like reaction button, leave a comment button. Here I can leave a comment, I can press the space bar. Space, leave a comment button, write a comment, edit, press enter to post, dialogue, write a comment, edit, press enter to post. Now you heard it say write a comment, press enter to post. So if I wanted to leave a comment here, I could type a comment and press enter. So I'm going to go ahead and type a comment here. T A I S I S A space E E V E R Y A L P U S V I D E O period. And I'll press insert up arrow to read that comment. This is a very helpful video. And I'm going to press enter. Enter. Write a comment. Edit. Press enter to post. And from here, I went ahead. Alert, your comment was submitted. All right. So um, I went ahead and pressed enter. And we just got a message saying that the comment was submitted. I'm going to go ahead and press escape, escape. Because for some reason, forms mode does usually stay on there. But just give it a, a couple seconds, and it'll tell you your comment was submitted. Write edit. Edit. Write a comment, list of three items, insert an emoji button. And so from here, we can do things like insert an emoji. Comment with a GIF button. Comment with a with a GIF. Comment with a sticker button, list end. A sticker and so forth. Press enter to post. And we've already posted this comment, so I'm going to press escape again. Escape. Navigation region. And that takes us back here to the page. Navigation region, heading level two, Facebook menu. And for some reason, it took me all the way back up to the top, so I'm going to press three on the number row. You may see that happen where focus changes. And if that happens, just kind of reorient yourself to the page. Um, a good way to do that is to press control home. List heading level two Facebook menu. And then press the number three. Home heading level one. Still create a post heading level three. News feed post heading level three. And now I'm on news feed post heading. So I'm going to press H. Freedom scientific Inc. heading level four link. And let's down arrow. Link 20H, shared with public graphic actions for this post button menu collapse menu. And I'm just going to down arrow through the post here. Need to link HT, link grab more button, link YouTube.com, Windows link, we'll discuss toolbar with one button, slight colon nine people toolbar, light colon toolbar end. Now you can also press the letter B here to navigate through the different buttons on this uh, post. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to press B. You and date others button. One comment button. So there is one comment here. Three shares button. Remove like button. Change like reaction button. Leave a comment button. Send this to friends or post it on your timeline button. Freedom Scientific Inc. Article end. So now we are at the end of this particular post. Article. Heading level three people you may know. And sometimes you'll find a, a heading here that says people you may know. Facebook draws that from the friends that you have. And it, it draws that from friends of those friends. So we're going to keep pressing the letter H. Link Eric Damory is with Link Ted Enter and Link Dean Blazy at Link Tarpon Spring Sponge Docs. Heading level four. All right. And that is the next item here in the news feed. And again, you could just navigate that the same way that we navigated the last one and leave a comment. And this one has some comments. So let's check those out. I'm going to press the letter B for button. Actions for this post button menu collapse menu. Like colon 23 people button. You and 23 others button. Five comments button. All right, so you notice it said five comments button. So I'm going to press the space bar to open that and ex well, expand it and show those comments. Space main region. Eric Damory is with Ted Enter and Dean Blazy at Tarpon Spring Sponge Docs. Article region. All right, so it turned forms mode on. I'm going to press escape to turn forms mode off. Escape. Write a comment. And what it did was it brought me to the field for write a comment. So the comments that I want to read are before this field. So I'm going to press shift and the letter H as in hotel to go back up to the comments. Comments heading level three. And if I press shift H again. Link Eric Damory is with Link Ted Enter and Link Dean Blazy at Link Tarpon Spring Sponge Docs. That shows me the beginning of that post so I could just down arrow and read the post. Or I can press H to go to comments. Comments heading level three. And if I want to read a comment, I'll press down arrow. List of three items. Comment by Jim Portillo a day ago article. And if I keep pressing down arrow. Link Jim Portillo. Wow, legends for sure. I and it'll just read that comment there on that post. And I can just keep pressing down arrow. Hide or report this button menu collapse menu. List of three items nesting level one. Like button. So here I could like Jim's comment. React button. I could react to it. And, you know, use a different reaction. 
reply button. I could reply. And if I wanted to reply, I would press space here. And just like when we created a comment, it would open that or activate that edit field and forms mode would activate and we could type the comment, the reply to that comment and press enter. Link 1D. List and nesting level and one. one day that shows you when that comment was left. Comment by Jim Portillo a day ago. Article end. Eric Damery replied one reply button. And again, you can just keep pressing down arrow to read all of these comments and replies. And then when you are finished, you're going to press alt left arrow to go back. Back. Navigation region. Facebook menu heading level two. So once again, just to recap, as you're navigating through Facebook, you're usually going to do it by headings. You're going to press the letter H as in hotel and you're gonna navigate by headings. And since you know that the news feed is a heading level three, you can use the number three on the number row to go through those heading level three headings. And that will get you there more quickly. So as you navigate to each person's post, you down arrow to read those posts and you have some things there that you can do. You have where you can react. You can like the post. You just press space on those buttons to open up those menus. And uh, well, like is actually just a button that you press. If you, if you press it, it likes the post. And then if you press it again, it removes that like reaction. The react button, when you press space, it opens up that menu and you're going to use your right and left arrow keys to navigate through those options of like, love, and all the other options that are there. And then you press enter on the one you want. And then your comments, if you want to read the comments for a particular post, you're going to press the space bar where it says, you know, five comments. It's gonna tell you their comments there. It's gonna tell you how many. And you press the space bar to expand that. Then you can, um, I like to, when I do that, it, it places me, it always places me in the edit field where I could type a comment. So that's one way you could leave a comment there. Or you can press, this, you know, press escape to turn off forms mode and press shift H to navigate back up to the comments heading and down arrow and read all of those comments. And there you'll have a reply button where you can press space and reply in the edit field there. And when you're finished reading comments, you can press alt left arrow to go back. And then also there's a button that accompanies each post that says leave a comment. And if you just press space there, you can go ahead and type your comment and press enter. So that is how you can navigate Facebook, the, the news feed and comments using the quick nav keys. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.